Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about Table 110.26A1 in the NFPA 70E or the National Electrical Code Working Spaces. So we have the minimum clear distance for Condition 1, Condition 2, and Condition 3. So what is Condition 1? It's exposed live parts on one side of the working space and no live or grounded parts on the other side of the working space that are effectively guarded by insulated materials. For condition number two, it's exposed live parts on one side of the working space and grounded parts on the other side of the working space. Concrete, bricks, or tile wall should be considered as grounded. And for condition number three, it's exposed live parts on both sides of the working space. So you, as you can see here in the table, for condition number one, under the nominal voltage to ground from zero volts to 150 volts is three feet for condition number one. Condition number two is three feet. For condition number three is three feet. From, 50, from 151 volts to 600 volts for condition number one is three feet. For condition number two is one meter or three feet and six inches. And for condition number three is 1.2 meters or four feet. And for 601 volts to 1,000 volts, for condition number one is three feet. For condition number two is 1.2 meters or four feet. And for condition number three is 1.5 meters or five feet. As you can see here, on one side of the wall is the effectively insulated side of the wall. And in the other side, we have the electric switchboard for 150 volts, nominal or less. So for condition number one is three feet minimum for 150 volts to 600 volts. So you can see we have three feet in here. And for condition number two, we have space will increase to three and a half feet for 151 volts to 600 volts. But in here we have, on one side, we have the grounded parts concrete. And in the other side, we have the electrical switchboard, 150 volts number or less. It's three feet because is 150 volts. It will increase to three and a half if it's from 151 volts to 600 volts. And for condition number three, its space will increase to four feet for 151 volts to 600 volts. So if we have the electric switchboard on one side and then the other side, we have the electric switchboard. So if it's exposed live parts, it has to be four feet in between. That's condition number three. So if you like this type of content, give it a like and subscribe. Thank you.